not supporting the children and what they need support in, but then you worry about them shooting guns and worry about who's dying instead of about fixing the problem. Gunfire on one part of government, a deadly crash on another part as police respond. Tonight, the latest on what we know, the people who fired the shots are still on the run. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Val. Greg has the night off. Our Chris Rosado spoke to people who live near where that gunfire broke out Friday night. He starts us off tonight, Chris. Hey, good evening, Liz. I went back to that area today, and while I was out there, I met someone whose house was right in the middle of all of it. Just after 10 p.m. Friday evening, several officers working an extra duty assignment at a business along Government Street noticed a group of young men riding bikes wearing black hoodies and ski masks. Shortly after those guys turned the corner, those officers then heard gunshots. They tracked the young men down a couple of streets over, and once they made contact, bullets started flying. A security camera at a nearby home captured the sound of the intense gunfire. And came over here asking guys on 16th Street, did they hear the gunshots? And they told them, yeah. And in response to that, those children were coming across Oleanda and they start shooting at the police. Those bullets striking cars all up and down South 16th Street. From there, it only got worse. The officers called for backup and the two additional officers who responded ended up slamming into another vehicle at an intersection, killing the driver, Caleb Chapetta, who was deaf. Mr. Caleb died from injuries at the scene. Uh, two officers that were inside the vehicle were transported to a local hospital, one with serious injuries, uh, and uh, that officer is still at uh, a local hospital. The other officer was transported for injuries and has now uh, is now at home. The shootout took place less than a block away from where Allie Rice was shot and killed in September of 2022. Since then, cameras have been placed all over to help prevent more crime. So it's a work in progress. We're reviewing the cameras. Okay. It just happened this past Friday. Today's Monday. If they don't have anything else to do, that's what they turn to. Walking down 16th Street this afternoon, I met Bradford Williams, who says he's lived here his entire life. But the things that I've seen in the last four years is the decline of us not funding the programs that we need for the children to, to do activities. If you take away basketball, you take away football, you take away wrestling, you take away boxing, you have them shooting guns. What, what else do they have? The only opportunity is what? Shooting guns. So BRPD says at this time the investigations are still ongoing. If you or anyone you know has any tips, you can call Crime Stoppers at 344-STOP. That's 344-7867. Liz, back to you. Chris Rosado, thank you. Sometime to